Today's video features the Synology Disk Station DS1817 Plus with its quad-core processor, 8 bays of storage capacity, its very own chat app, up to 1179 megabytes per second read speed and so much more. The Synology Disk Station DS1817 Plus is a high performance NAS device. NAS stands for Network Attached Storage. For a simple explanation of what a NAS is, is it's a collection of hard drives or solid state drives installed into a product like the Synology Disk Station. And then instead of connecting your hard drives to a single computer, this is connected to an Ethernet port on your router or an Ethernet switch within your home network or your business network. And then all of the files that are stored on your disk station are accessible across multiple devices and platforms. This could be things like laptop computers, desktop computers or even mobile devices. Now what sets the Synology range apart from the competition is the fact that you can install applications onto your disk station. We'll take a closer look at some of these in a short while. But what also sets the range apart is the awesome user interface. Again, we'll delve into this in greater detail later in this video. Now the disk station DS1817 Plus is a really high-end product. It features eight bays. Each of these bays can be populated with either a three and a half inch hard drive or a two and a half inch solid state drive. Inside, we've got a quad-core 2.4 gigahertz CPU. We've also got models with two gigabytes or eight gigabytes of DDR3 memory, and this can be further expanded up to 16 gigabytes. Now, whilst we're talking about expansion, we've already got eight bays available to us here. If you want to expand this further, you can use DX517 expansion units, and this will add up to an additional 10 bays. So you can actually use 18 drives on this system. Now on the front of the unit you've got the main power on off switch, also some status LEDs, including individual LEDs on each of the drive bays. You've also got a single USB 3 port. If we take a look around the back, we've got an additional three USB 3 ports, two eSATA ports and four gigabit Ethernet ports. And you can actually use these four gigabit Ethernet ports for link aggregation, which further extends the performance with regard to read and write speeds. Installing your hard drives or SSDs into the disk station is extremely easy. You just pop out each of the individual drive bay caddies and you don't need a screwdriver or anything. You simply pull off the side tabs on the caddy, put your hard drive in place and then put these side tabs back into place. And once all of your hard drives are installed, it's a simple matter of connecting this to your Ethernet network, popping the power cord in and pressing the power on button. Now I will mention there are a couple of fans in the back of this unit and when you first turn the disk station DS1817 Plus on it is very audible because the fans are running at full speed. But once the system's booted up the fans are very quiet. You can still hear them. I wouldn't particularly locate this in my editing room where I'm actually recording audio but if for the most part they don't really disturb the uh, working environment. So now let's have a look at the user interface, how we're going to set things up and some of the features that are available. Setting up any Synology disk station follows pretty much the same procedure. We're greeted with this really easy to use setup wizard within our web browser and we're going to click the setup button. We're asked to install the latest version of disk station manager and we're warned that this will actually wipe out any data on the hard drives that we've put inside the disk station. And then once we have initiated the installation procedure, we are given this uh, percentage update uh, within the web browser window. And it takes between sort of five and 10 minutes to complete the installation. <laughs> So once everything's installed and up and running, we're presented with the Disk Station Manager user interface. And this is within your web browser window. And this is consistent pretty much across all the range of Synology Disk Stations. And I absolutely love the layout. In the top left-hand corner here, we've got the main menu. 
and this is where you gain access to all of the relevant applications and control panels. I'll show you some of these in action in a short while. We've also got the package center and the package center allows you to look at what applications you've got installed on your disk station also recommended applications and then you can go through either all of the applications that are available or the various categories we've also got file station and in here you can gain access to your uh, various shares or folders that you've set up on your hard drives that are installed on the disk station and it's just so easy to set things up for example here I've got a folder for video footage archive uh, I can dive into settings here and change the shared links uh, speed limit security uh, and in the general tab I can do things like enable file station log uh, smart drag and drop etc uh, just all fully configurable very very easy to to set up shares we've also got DSM help it's worth showing you this because uh, from time to time you might need to find out how a certain feature works and here this is a fully searchable database with uh, tutorials, compatibility settings and also video tutorials as well. In the top right hand corner up here we've got notifications. We've also got some user settings here. We've also got a search feature. This allows you to search the files and uh, contents that are on your disk station and then last but not least we've got widgets this sort of just closes this panel down that's appeared in the bottom right hand corner and this is an overview of the system health and also a resource monitor and you can pin widgets add different widgets and take them away uh, this is just a really good way of getting an overview on how your disk station is working now I mentioned I wanted to show you some of the things I've got installed here now the first thing I want to show you is the calendar this is really cool uh, rather than using something like uh, the calendar app on my Mac I can actually use the Synology calendar and I can share these calendars and appointments with other users uh, I can easily create a new one for example I've got here record Synology DSM part that's the part of the video I'm recording now and I've actually started this early so I could actually move this uh, calendar reminder up to nearer my start time and if I've got an appointment tomorrow I can simply click on the time and create a new appointment it really is that simple I can add it to my calendar uh, or a personal calendar if it's something like let's say it's a let's say it's a birthday so that would go into my personal calendar and then I can click create event over here I can set up multiple calendars as well so you can see here I've got my calendar personal and I could create one just for business use and give that a color of green and say this is business appointments only so it's really a great calendar application now the next thing I want to show you is we've also got a chat feature and if you imagine having your disk station installed within an office you can set up multiple users and send messages to them and you've got your own integrated chat rather than relying on an external service here I've just got a bot that I'm talking to so I can sort of chat away to the bot just to, to give you an example of how the interface looks but if I've got other users on the system I can send them files links to things uh, and really get that interaction and communication going uh, which is great for a small office environment next up I want to show you the office suite of applications again this is installed on the disk station I can actually create a new file so if I click on add here I can create a new document which is like a word document for typing out text or I can create a new spreadsheet I can also create an encrypted file as well and there are templates I can choose from in fact let's just show you some of the templates so here I've got various document templates I've got a business plan one and this opens up in a new tab in my browser and all of the template features are already in place and then I can just over type this with the details that I want to add very very quick very easy and again whilst I'm working on this I can actually access my chat in a pop-up panel in the bottom right or indeed I can share this document or I can lock it down and I can collaborate with other users 
If I go back across to my office uh, main user interface here, I can go into my May accounts, which I set up earlier. And if I double click on this, again, it opens in a new tab. And you can see here, I've got a fully featured spreadsheet uh, with columns and rows, and I can do calculations and use this for simple accounting or creating a spreadsheet for pretty much anything. So this has got some great features Apart from the central storage location, you've got access to all of these apps that just add on so much flexibility and so many new features to the disk station that it really does make it a great system of choice. Now with regards to performance, whilst I've been using this for storing the archive of my video footage, it is absolutely superb. Very easy to set up, very easy to manage, and I can highly recommend it. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please do hit that like button. Please do subscribe, and I'll see you in another video very soon.